In today's video, we're gonna take you along on our hike up the mountain and we're gonna show you this beautiful alpine mountain pasture that we're discovering and also some really weird metal sticks sticking out of the ground and we have a theory about what that is. It is super windy, we had a very windy night um, and it's, it's really weird because it's like calm one moment, like right now. And then we get these gusts and it's just snow blowing everywhere. I uh, left the cattle in the stable a little bit longer. They have room and spots where they can hide and take cover, which I think is important because in the wild they would naturally do that too. But it is very uncomfortable for humans out here for sure. This here is one of the areas that the cows can go in and just take cover, shelter from the weather. It's another spot back there. You guys ready to get out? So back here, it's another spot where the cows can just go in the winter time. And I, I feed them some hay there. And that right there is an old chicken stable that we are gonna try to get started here very soon. You guys all ready to go outside? So it seems like the wind has really slowed down. It said that it would increase to lunchtime, but quite happy. Cows are a lot more comfortable here. And it's interesting to observe that the cows are rather out here than in the stable where they can find shelter. It's because they are who they are and they do not like enclosed structures. So we're exploring another part of the mountain this Sunday. It's just very beautiful weather today. And this is a road we had never seen before. It doesn't go so steep up the mountain, but it's more, you know, just winding around the side of the mountain. And it's very, very beautiful here. energy when they choose to just take a log and carry it up the mountain. Why don't you see how many times you you can't hit it? Yeah. So we just found all these railroad tracks just stuck here in the ground. We don't know what they are from, if they once were from one of these barrier fences from to protect the valley from, you know, mudslides and rocks rolling down the hill. But we really don't know what that is. Here it looks like a space where some kind of rocks and mudslides and flash floods could come down from the mountain. So maybe that's it like these railroad tracks just sticking in the ground. So this is to the right. As far as you can see, just cliffs and rugged terrain. And this is here, the other side of the mountain, just going straight down. So we've walked to the place where the road officially ends on the map. But that's only to these rocks here and continues. Let's see. Crazy, these were placed here as some kind of border of some sort. You guys hear the water? So there's water coming from several places. Some there, and that's where the creek is. You see the water running there, and that's why they chose the pasture here. So the cattle in the summertime, or sheep or whatever it is, they, they have running water. So guys, this here is a traditional alpine mountain pasture. You have the livestock shelter there. You have the creek running through here. And you have the amazing view in the summer. 
This is like an oasis, absolutely gorgeous. So when you have another 1500 meters of pure nature and mountain behind you, it is safe to drink from this creek. Unless there's a deer upstream peeing into the water. <laughs> So we are getting a delivery of some round bales of hay here and of course it snows today and it's supposed to snow throughout the day and the delivery is coming uh, this afternoon. And so I'm going to put snow chains on our small tractor. I need to use the small tractor. I'm going to show you in a second. We have two tractors here on this farm that I'm helping out on farm sitting. I just want to make sure you guys understand it's not my farm. But uh, we have two tractors, two Austrian tractors. I can share more of more about those brands in a video because they're quite good. And I have snow chains on the big one. However, I have to drive in the back of the barn and um, I want to have the small tractor much lighter weight on that old structure and this wooden floor there. So I have to put snow chains um, on the small tractor right now. front first I'm gonna drive slowly on top of them hook them up <coughs> and then I'm gonna lay down the chains behind and back onto them Why is it that you have to use this tractor and not the one that are This one is lighter and I can drive on this floor right there. Okay. And I might have to put some bales downstairs. There's a sharp turn, I don't get around the turn. Okay. Okay, chains are on. Um, it was actually much more challenging than I thought it would be because these chains were extremely tight. I put a wire through to pull them up as I slowly rolled onto them, but I, it was so hard to get them together. Well, I don't do this every day, but um, I think that those were chains that were quite tight. Anyway, ready for the hay to come and drive it into the barn here. A long climb down into the valley. 
you guys who have watched this channel for a long time know that I do not particularly enjoy driving machines even though I do and I can and I took some extra license for big front end loaders and all of that stuff but if you would put me in one of those trucks on a mountain like this in these conditions that would be my worst nightmare I would just hate it I would rather empty a stable full of manure so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this little family vlog and coming along with us. We'll see you in the next video.